it is one of the coldest New Year's Eves on record here in Times Square, but that is not keeping people from having the time of their lives. I know, and I think we're going to go to Cat Tim down there in the pits, who's got some action. Instead, we're going to go to Brian Yanis. Cat's okay. going to work on some stuff. Let's see what Brian has to say. He's keeping track of all the security details. Brian, what do you got? You got a big interview lined up for us? Hey, that's right, Jesse and Kennedy. This is uh, the chief of police here, the chief of NYPD, James O'Neill. James, talk to us uh, about how everything's going on so far. Has it, has it been, uh, has it been quiet and, and well? Well, it hasn't been quiet because it's Times Square, but it has been cold. Uh, things are going well. They, they, we have uh, thousands of cops out here keeping everybody safe. We have them down in the subway. We have them uh, out here on uh, ground level. We also have them up in the hotels, too, because we have to pay attention to what's going on, not just in uh, New York City and the United States. We need to pay attention to what's going on in the world. So you know, a lot of good work being done out here. Uh, the checkpoint's coming in. They're, they're, they're fully manned. We have the vape wake dogs there, and we're making sure we take care of the dogs so they don't get too cold, but they're doing their work. I'm with uh, the chief of patrol, Terry. Monahan yeah. and with uh, Bill Morris. He's the chief of Manhattan South. So Terry could probably talk a little bit more about the nuts and bolts of what's going on here. Yeah, yeah. So talk to us about how this year is different than past years, uh, given security here. We had to pick up a lot of security. There's the entrance points. We had vapor wake dogs. We had magnetometers, but we got everyone in here. Got them in good. Obviously, as the commissioner said, we covered the hotels. We were up on the high ground. We got covered every inch of this area, completely covered. And listen, this doesn't end when the ball drops. We're here till the last person leaves, making sure everyone gets out of here safe. And we got cops all over the city. So it's not just Times Square. It's the entire city that we're keeping safe tonight. Well, logistically, talk about how hard it was to make sure every vantage point here is taken care of. Well, we've been planning this since uh, January 2nd of this year. So tonight is just the culmination of all of that one-year planning. It's been a terrific job. I'm very proud of what the job that all the cops have been doing. We've been here since midnight last night working on this. Unbelievable. Thank you so much for everything you've done. Commissioner, talk to us real quick, though. Uh, how about the weather? Any weather-related injuries more than what we've seen later? Hypothermia, frostbite, that kind of thing? No, we haven't seen that. Uh, I think people are being pretty smart. Uh, they, they knew they were going to come out here and be out here for uh, any number of hours. Or most of them are dressed uh, uh, pretty well, and they're packed pretty tightly in the pen cells. So, you know, it's hard. It's hard to be out here for such a long time. But everybody seems to be having a great time. Three, yeah, they have been. And, you know, three terror attacks in 16 months, two in the last, uh, what, last two months. Yep. Uh, it's been a tough year that, in that regard. But talk to us about how you consistently are adapting at the NYPD. Nobody does it better than you guys. Yeah, unless we're evolving, you know, we're not keeping up with uh, keeping people safe in this city. But if you look where we are as a city, you know, homicides are down, shootings are down, overall crime is down. That's not, that's not an accident. Now, a lot of hard work by the men and women of the NYPD, by the uh, men and women of the FBI who are here tonight helping us. The Secret Service, too, the ATF, the U.S. Marshal Service, good friend of mine, Ed McMahon. Uh, go, they're going out after the bad guys every day. So, a lot of good work. But most importantly, the eight and a half million people in New York City are pitching in. And if we continue to do that, we're going to make New York City even safer. Officer Familia, Officer McDonald, two of the officers uh, that have died in the line of fire here at the NYPD, we think about them and their families. What's your message to, to all those? A reminder of the sacrifice that your men and women uh, take every single day that they step out of their home. Yeah, I mean, uh, you can't take it for granted. We had Sergeant Paul Tazulo in November of uh, 2016. His wife, Lisa, is here tonight. Uh, Stephen passed away on January 10th. And Mia Sotis was murdered on, uh, on July 5th of this year. And look just today out in Douglas County, Colorado. We had a, a sheriff who was killed in the line of duty and four others were injured. So this is a tough job. It's a, it's a difficult task. Uh, but but. We do it so well, and, and we never forget about the families, and that's the most important thing. What are you going to be thinking about when that ball drops tonight with all your men and women here? You, I mean, you guys, this is this is your life. You you love this city. Yeah, I love this city, and I love this job, and I love all the hard work of the men and women of this great police department. So, you know, I'm going to be wishing for their safety and uh, for uh, to have a very prosperous new year and, and a safe 2018. Couldn't have said it better. Thank you so much for everything. Thank Happy you. New Year to you. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to all of you. Thank Happy you so much for everything you've done. I know all of us at our Fox News channel appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. Incredible work that they've done here. Unsurpassed security. Commissioner just talked about the, the sacrifice these men and women make every single day. These people have been out here since 9 a.m. And frankly, you know, across the country, 39 police officers have lost their lives in the line of duty uh, this year. We remember them and we think about them and their families as we bring in 2018 guys.